हेलो फ्रेंड्स विल बी डिस्कसिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लीस्ट कॉस्ट कॉम्बिनेशन नाउ नाउ द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लीस्ट कॉस्ट कॉम्बिनेशन बेसिकली रेफर्स टू द फैक्टर्स ऑफ इनपुट और अदर इनपुट फैक्टर्स विच कैन बी प्रोक्योर्ड एट द लीस्ट पॉसिबल कॉस्ट एंड दैट हेल्प्स अस इन मेकिंग और रादर इन डिलीवरिंग थिंग्स एट अ राइट पॉसिबल कॉस्ट हियर वेयर बाय प्रोड्यूसर्स इक्विलिब्रियम इज सॉर्टेड नाउ लेट अस फिगर आउट द थ्योरेटिकल पार्ट ऑफ इट द लीस्ट कॉस्ट कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फैक्टर्स रेफर्स टू अ फर्म प्रोड्यूसिंग मैक्सिमम वॉल्यूम ऑफ आउटपुट फ्रॉम अ गिवन लेवल ऑफ इनपुट ऑन द वन हैंड and on the other hand a firm produces a given level of output with the minimum cost when the factors are combined with an optimum manner now here there are two things first thing refers to the combination that refers to producing maximum volume of output volume that is referring to output now when you're talking about output here this is on one hand with the given level of input so with the given level of output and the input that is given here that is one condition now this is one of the scenario the second scenario speaks about whereby on the other hand a firm gives a given level of output with the minimum cost now whatever output is given this output is given at a minimum cost now this cost has to be taken into consideration so there is one condition that the volume of output is supposed to be done at the input that is available with us the second part refers to we have to give a designated output whereby there will be a minimization of cost that will be a part of it now first case maximization of output for a given cost first case refers to whereby we maximize the output at any given cost here now in this part an attempt is made to explain the case when cost is given in this part we explain the case whereby the cost is given already and the objective of the producer is to maximize his output now the next objective of the producer is to make sure that the output is maximized to the max possible event or rather max possible level whereby we can take it to suppose the total given output is c and the prices of capital and labor are pk and pl that is prices of capital prices of labor that has been mentioned here now how does it look when it comes to maximization of output at given inputs here first there is iq1 there is iq2 and there is iq3 iq1 that is the indifference curve or rather the isoquant curve gives you 100 as an output here next is 200 next is 3000 now the y axis gives you labor and x axis gives you or rather the y axis gives you capital and x axis gives you labor here if you see these are the isoquant curves that we have here let us go through the explanation of this figure 4.11 that is the previous figure gives out the case of maximum output for a given level of input here now what exactly is this ab is the iso cost line represents the cost outlay at given prices of capital pk and labor pl now this ab that is this ab line that you're talking about let me just erase this so that you can view it in a better way so basically the isoquant line or rather the output line you're talking about is this part this is the isoquant line here that we have discussed now when we talk about iq1 iq2 and iq3 are the three isoquants representing different level of output these are the three isoquants that are giving you different level of outputs as you can see in this one is 100 second is 200 and the third is 3000 these are the kind of outputs that these isoquants are providing you now it is important to note that with given amount of labor and capital a business firm can produce any output level in the area oab now this area will check but first let's understand the line it is important to note that the given amount of labor and capital with whatever amount of capital and labor we are being made available with a business firm can produce any output level in the area oab now what is that area oab can you see this area o can you see this area a and this area b so with this much of capital and this much of labor we can produce any amount of product or rather any amount of output with this much of shaded area this is the representation of it now it requires additional resources to produce any output level outside this area if at all you have to produce output besides or rather apart from the shaded area that means if you have to go beyond this isoquant line you will require more of capital more of labor here now 
Hence, IQ level 3 is not possible to attain as a given level of labor and capital is not sufficient. So, for this thing or rather for this isoquantit is not possible with this much of thing. You have to shift the isoquant level to that side which cannot be done at any given cost because we have only restricted costing here. Now, let's go on to the next part. In this case, a producer wants to reach the isoquant which provides the maximum level of output. Now, in this case, a consumer can produce a maximum output at point E on isoquant 2. Now, this isoquant, 3000 is absolutely not possible because you don't have that much of capital and labor here. Now, with this capital that we already have and the labor that we already have, how much can we produce? Can we produce only 100 or can we produce 200 as well? Now, if you see this isoquant curve, that is IQ2, it touches this line, that is this specific isoquant line. It touches, this curve touches this line. That means this is the maximum output that we can derive. Can you see this specific line? or the one that we are marking right now this specific thing will give you the exact amount of rather the maximum output that we can prepare here now at point E the slope iso cost line is equal to the slope of iso quant that means iso cost line if this is the iso cost curve and this is the line here so can you see this touches here this is equilibrium point now, second condition of the equilibrium is that the isoquant must be convex to the origin. Second concept refers to that this isocost curve should be convex in nature. Now, convex is all about this. Concave is all about this. Now, this curve is just like this. So, it is convex in nature. Let us understand few more details on this specific topic itself. When we are discussing about this specific curve, case 2 refers to minimizing cost for a given level of output. Now, the case one referred to maximization of output, second refers to minimizing of cost at given level of output. In this case, the level of output is given and the objective of the producer is to minimize the cost. You must be having the level of output that is required. You may require 3000 output or you may require 200 output, you may require 100 output. This will be already specified to you. You have to choose which is the best option to reach this level, whichever level they are producing or rather whichever level is being opted for. This level has to be reached with the minimum costing. Now, is it possible or not is something that we have to check. Now, the conditions of equilibrium of the phone remain same that the slope of the isocont must be equal to the isocost line. That is, here also the conditions remain the same. Can you see this specific curve? This is the isocost line and this is the isocost curve. It should meet at this point. So, wherever this isocost curve meets the isocost line in a convex way, that is the maximum output that we can achieve at or rather the minimization of cost with minimum cost this is the maximum output that we can reach so basically this is the maximum output that you can give so this is what you need to understand now the firm minimizes its cost by employing the combination of labor and capital determined by the point of tangency so wherever there is a tangent point for example if this is the curve and the curve or rather this is the cost line and the curve intersects here or rather it is tangent on this specific line this line will serve as the specifications related to whereby this is the equilibrium point now point e is desirable because the show or rather this shows that the least cost combination build is not attainable to produce output represents by isoquant now anything that is above this for example anything which is above this part now this is the exact term that we have anything about this this everything will be above the cost that means it will be above the maximum cost that we can incur now this is the minimum cost here but here the maximum level of output cannot be achieved hence this is the maximum level of output that we can achieve here so thus point e is the only optimal combination factor which produces the given output at the lowest possible cost so wherever the tangent point or rather the tangent point is derived in the first instance you can figure out that that is the lowest possible cost that can be achieved to achieve the higher level of inputs or rather the outputs that we are seeking for so make sure all these details are completely agreed to and understood before forming any opinions on the iso cost curve and the cases of two maximization and minimization of cost so maximization of volume is the first case minimization of the cost is the second case here this is all that we have when it comes to the isocost line here. Thank you.